in the previous video we were discussing about string functions and in this video we are going to continue with the discussion okay so uh, in the previous video we have discussed about the uh, the the length function the get index function the subsequence function and the compare to function okay so uh, in i think that should be clear to you okay so uh, now next is the equals function so the equal function indicates whether some object is equal to the other object or not okay so uh, it is just like the comparison operator equals to equals to okay so uh, what i'll do is i'll just uh, okay so you can guess the return type of the uh, the function is boolean okay because it returns that whether it is equal to or not so when i uh, say a equals to equals okay so it is equals and i say b uh, b and uh, when i when i uh, run this so you can guess the output the output is uh, false because they are not equal okay so as you can see here the output is false because they are not equal and when i do uh, c and d uh, c and i compare it with d and again when i uh, run the program uh, now the output must be true because they are equal okay no it is false why it is false uh, okay so i have done some mistake i have to compare uh, c with f okay sorry so yeah when i compared c with d the data type is only not same <laughs> one is string and other is int so there is no chance of uh, them being equal so it is true now what happens when i uh, change one index in the string so you can see the output is false so it is only true when both string are equal in each and every man manner possible now it is having some suggestion now we will go to it and plus press alt plus enter it is suggesting that we should replace it with equals to equals to sign as i already mentioned that it is nothing but the comparison operator equal to equal to okay moving on to hash code the hash code returns a hash code value for the object okay so you might be wondering what a what the hash code is uh, i'll suggest just go to the google type hash code of a string and you will get to know okay so uh, i want the hash code of uh, let's say string c so I'll, uh, so i'll just type c dot hash code okay and when i run this program i'll get the hash code for c string so as you can see in the output screen the hash code for c string is this okay when as let's say i want hash code for all the strings possible okay so i'll just mention all the strings a b c and f we have four strings a b c and f okay so when i run this program it gives the hash code for uh, all these string uh, now if you note uh, that these two values are negative and these two values are positive so why is that the hash code could be positive negative or any value okay it's just a representation okay so uh, now next is the plus operator plus function so what the plus function does is okay when i use the plus function uh, let's say uh, i have print ln uh, a plus b 
now uh, the a plus b is another string okay so i can uh, make another function use on this string also so i can use the plus function again also okay and uh, it's the plus function is not restricted to string only so i can use the plus function and use any data type you can i can use here d also okay so when i uh, run this program so you can see the addition of all this a b c and d so it, it gives like hello this is a uh, coder and my age is 19 okay so what there is a mistake that uh, there is no space given because i have not given any spaces here here or here if i give give spaces here then it would be a perfect code so uh, that was all about the plus function now instead of using dot plus i can also do that uh, i just i can just do a plus b plus c okay and when i run this program i can find that it gives hello this is a coder and my age now this is string con con concatenation okay it it is nothing but uh, it just concatenate the string it means that it puts three two or three string or many string together and make it a new string okay so plus function returns a string obtained by concat concatenating the string with the string representation of the given other object okay so that was all about the plus function next is the two string function so we have already uh, talked about the the two string or two int or two all all the data type conversion function so it's it is nothing but suppose i have a uh, i have a integer uh, uh, that has a value that is a phone number okay so uh, okay a is already defined i'll just give it name as phone okay so uh, i want to store this in a string so what i can do is i can just write phone and then dot to string to string so what it does is it uh, converts the phone this into a string so when i print this when i go ahead and print this then uh, you can expect the result it is a string so you uh, you can see nothing in the result the result would be same the output is just the number itself but it is a string okay so to string function uh, returns a string representation of any object okay then there is last index function the last index function returns the index of the last character in the uh, character sequence and minus one if it is empty so i have uh, here like uh, like uh, in these two string i'll try c and f so what i'll do is uh, i'll just uh, go to the end and uh, yeah so i'll print the last index of c first okay so i'll just type c dot last index okay and i'll also print the uh, last index of f and now i'll run this program meanwhile i'll go to the c and f strings now uh, as we can see in the output the uh, first one is 13 and the second one is 12 so uh, the last index which is this so this is 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so the index of the last character is 13 in this string and the index of last character is 12 in this string f so it just returns the index of the last character okay so uh, now you must have no doubt in the last index uh, function okay the next is index of function so the index of function returns the index within its string of first occurrence occurrence of a specified character starting from the specified start index 
ओके सो इंडेक्स ऑफ फंक्शन हैज थ्री पैरामीटर्स बेसिकली द फर्स्ट इज द स्ट्रिंग सो दैट इज ए बी और सी विच एवर स्ट्रिंग आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग इट सेकेंड इज द स्टार्ट इंडेक्स ओके सो फ्रॉम विच इंडेक्स आई शुड बी लुकिंग फॉर द कैरेक्टर सो सपोज आई एल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट एंड थर्ड इज द इग्नोर केस जस्ट इग्नोर दैट सो इट इज जस्ट टेलिंग द इट शुड बी फॉल्स ओके सो ओके इट इज अ बुलियन इग्नोर केस इज बुलियन सो द बेसिकली वॉट इज इन इंडेक्स ऑफ सो आई आई एल से दैट इंडेक्स ऑफ आई एंड स्ट्रिंग इन स्ट्रिंग बी ओके एंड स्टार्टिंग स्टार्ट इंडेक्स इज जीरो सो इट विल गिव द थर्ड आई ओके एंड वेन आई गिव द स्टार्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ थ्री वैल्यू थ्री सो इट विल गिव मी दिस आई ओके सो आई जस्ट गो अहेड एंड यूज द फंक्शन सो आई एल प्रिंट इन स्ट्रिंग बी आई कैन डू वॉट वॉज दैट index of okay and now i'll mention the character which uh, which are of which index i am finding so i'll mention the character as i okay and then i'll mention the uh, start index okay so uh, note that it is giving a red i in red so why is that because i uh, i haven't mentioned the character in single quote okay so i should uh, uh, only mention the character or character in single quote and string in double quotes okay so then i'll mention the uh, string start index so i'll mention the start index at zero at first and the ignore case as false okay so now i now i'll go ahead and run this program so the output of this is 2 so now i'll i'll go to the b string and uh, so at at 0 1 2 at index 2 there is an i okay so now what if i start with index 3 and see what is the output okay i'll start with index 3 and run this program so i can see in the output uh, that the result is the out, output is 5 so i started with this this index and this is the th uh, third index then fourth index is empty and then fifth index is has an i so the answer is i uh, the uh, the i is at the fifth index starting from the third index okay so it just founds the first i from the start index and ignores the rest of it so i'll just fi find d from any index okay so finding d from any index doesn't change anything okay because d is only mentioned one time it it matters when d is uh, when the start index is after uh, 11 okay after 12 because d is at the 12th index so the index of just gives the index of the mentioned character from any index okay so i hope all the functions should be clear to you by now okay so thank you for watching this video in the next video we will be uh, covering functions thank you